The perfect candidate are those that are nearsighted or have a condition called astigmatism. Astigmatism is where the cornea, the window to the eye is shaped more like a football rather than a baseball. Um, those patients would be typically in the category of having a nearsightedness of two to ten diopters and astigmatism of one to three diopters. Um, those are numbers practically that would sort of mean that um, anybody that has some trouble seeing beyond uh, 10 feet or so uh, with their nearsightedness, they would likely be a good candidate at the moment. It's not yet approved for farsightedness and the usual safety parameters for testing still apply and, and all patients can still and can certainly consider and if they prefer to take a more traditional approach they can still have LASIK as well. Um, but comparatively speaking from my perspective if I had to have it done it would be small hands down because it's just uh, looks so good and I've been so really impressed. I um, firmly believe that it's been well tested but different people have different comfort zones so in some people uh, they will still prefer to have the traditional LASIK because they like the comfort of the 20-year history. Um, but if I look at the patients afterwards um, for me it's a not there is no competition, but I always respect uh, the patient's choices and we do the best within the patient's choices and, and both are very viable options. It's just really fantastic for some of those patients where LASIK really is not a good choice because the eyes are already somewhat dry or there are some other issues. It's fantastic to have an alternate option where I would have to say, well, LASIK is not really a great possibility for you and if I have no other option we end up not being able to do something. Case in point, I recently had a patient who had had some multiple eye problems previously, other surgeries and her eye from a dryness perspective, everything else was not suitable for having LASIK at all and her prescription was too high to risk the more traditional PRK approach. So this was really the only good choice for her. And uh, when she came in the next day, my staff could tell just the moment she walked through the door that she was happier than she'd ever been because she was so relieved and she could see and it was compared to all the other things she'd been through, uh, it was a non-event for her. So it was really, great to see to make that possible and happen and be able to assist her in this way.